Hey, Mark Nelson. What today I want to do is talk to you about my entrepreneurial journey because I think it's a really cool story. I was really fortunate growing up because I grew up in an entrepreneurial family. My mom and dad owned their own business. And you know, I didn't really know what was going on at the time. All I know is I loved their lifestyle. You know, we could do whatever we wanted to do. They never missed a basketball game or a football game or whatever. They were always there. And I just so appreciated that in my parents. So I was very fortunate because as I started growing up, I got to play college basketball. My goal really going to college was to be a businessman. And then I had an advantage of going to, as I was playing basketball, I made the decision what I would love to do is teach and coach. So I made that decision to go into education. When I left college, I thought I was gonna be a teacher. As I left, I was offered an opportunity to buy into a business. Unbelievable. We started out in the retail world and so thoroughly enjoyed it. Been in retail for 17 years. Lived a high lifestyle. You know, got married during that time, had my two kids. We bought a house in the lake, I had brand new cars. And you know, there's a catch there because what happens, you know, when things are really going good, you kind of forget to keep your focus on the target. And that's what happened to us, along with big box stores coming in. Sorry, I got mowers coming around here, so I'm gonna move, see if I can get in a better spot. How's that work? So when we got in the big, you know, eventually what I happened to do is we had to close our store. And at that time, I wasn't ready to get into teaching, just wasn't ready to do it. Didn't know what I was gonna do, and kind of floundered for a while, and then I finally had a friend offer to sell me a franchise of his, a cleaning franchise. And I didn't really want to be a cleaner, but what I saw that was extremely profitable. So we did it. And it ran it for two years, but you know what? It really wasn't me. I wasn't a cleaner, and the business was never going to be big enough for me ever to stop cleaning. So we sold it. And as we were putting it up for sale, you know, my life kind of changed because I had an acquaintance approach me and introduce me to the network marketing business. And you know, the business plan just made so much sense to me and I got so excited because I grew up in a retail store. All I had to do was talk to people and I bought all in. I sold my business, sold my house, moved to a bigger city, but there was a catch. See, when I was in the store, I had people come in and want to talk to me. In network marketing, I had to go out and find them. And I soon found, even though I knew this, I was really kind of an introvert. So to go into a mall, to go into a home meeting, to go, that was a challenge for me. And I didn't do very well. In fact, I didn't do well at all. And very fortunate that my wife believed in me so much that she stayed with me until I got my feet back on the ground. And that's when I went back into teaching and loved it, loved the coaching part of it, loved whatever, but you know, there's something there that once an entrepreneur, I think you're always an entrepreneur. And it was in the, about 2006, you know, they had these programs in real estate, so there was zero down financing, you could buy a house if you could breathe and sign a paper. So I bought a fourplex. And then I bought another rental. And guess what? I wasn't really paying attention to numbers. And oh my gosh, I, I, it just wiped us out. Mentally, financially, just wiped us out. And I was done. No more, my wife said, no more businesses, no more businesses. But guess what? I am, that entrepreneurial blood just keeps flowing. So I had another friend reach out and I tried another one and did okay with it. But not to what I was really looking for. See, when I thought I'd be an entrepreneur, I watched what my parents had. They had this lifestyle I wanted, where they could live and do what they wanted. They set a legacy up for their kids. I wanted to do that. So I started looking for something. And for the past three or four years, I was involved with a system selling that. And it was just stinking unbelievable but I couldn't get traction. 
I just couldn't get traction going on this thing. So what I did, I started looking for something else. And I want to take you along this journey with me. See, I found a different system, a marketing plan that I am so excited about that I know this is going to work. So on my journey, I'm going to keep you posted every day where we're going. I'm learning how to market. I'm learning how to build websites. I'm learning how to help people build websites. What I got is I put together a really special group, an affiliate marketing group. If you want to come along and watch my journey day by day and where I can reach out and help you and show you exactly what I'm doing, just put the word group below. Hey, Simon, Justin, glad you guys are here. But hey, that's all I got today. I hope you enjoyed that. This journey is just starting to tell you the truth. Just, just starting. So if you want to get on that group, put group down below. I'll put you, send you a link for the group and you can watch day to day how I'm helping people grow their dreams, grow their business. And I hope that can be you too. You all take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.